As we know with POTS, when we stand up, our blood vessels remain dilated, which causes blood pooling in our extremities and lower limbs. Our hearts beat faster to try to bring the blood back up. But with hyperadrenergic POTS, hyper POTS, what happens is your body also releases a pretty solid dose of stress hormones and adrenaline to try and compensate for your lower blood pressure and the blood pooling. But what happens is, is it overshoots. So because it's an autonomic nervous system malfunction, it doesn't give you the correct amount. It unfortunately gives you too much. And so this overshoot causes your blood pressure to rise too high, which is the problem. Like in my previous video, I talked about hydration and why that was so important. And it's exceptionally important with hyperpots. By having more electrolytes and more water, you create more blood plasma, which creates more blood volume. And so throughout having more blood volume, you're less likely to have such a large reaction when you stand. And it can actually over time help reduce those adrenaline surges, um, not only when standing, but period. So. The more blood volume you have, the more blood plasma you have, the less your body's gonna have to work because you just have a larger amount of blood volume and so your heart doesn't have to fight so hard to pull it back up from your legs because it's already extra other places.